I'm Max Hout, founder and CEO at Launcher. Today we're releasing the Launcher Rocket Calculator. It's available for free and open source at launchercalculator.com. Uh, the point of this tool is that if somebody tells you, oh, I'm going to build this rocket, a two-stage rocket, and the payload will be this, it's very difficult for anyone either in the media or, or anyone that pays interest or even a, a potential future customer to understand what are the assumptions behind it and how aggressive and realistic um, this payload goal is. So the launcher calculator is there to increase that transparency and education in a simple tool and it's also open source so that anyone that finds either potential improvements or bugs or data that is wrong about uh, some of the preset or the launchers, uh, we can contribute directly to GitHub and edit it. So let me tell you about some of the most interesting and easy to use functionality. So the first thing you can do is you can open the drop down and there we've put a number of preset launch vehicle from public information. Uh, some of the numbers we've had to guess to kind of reach the announced payload and it kind of gives you a good idea of, of all the engine performance and use propellant and other key assumptions um, behind the launch vehicle. So if you pick, for example, our launcher Rocket 1, uh, we get 70, 750 kilogram from Wallops to lower Forbit. Um, we could pick Falcon, uh, SpaceX Falcon 9 Full Trust with 23 ton from Cape Canaveral to LEO. And if you want to know what it can do, for example, to Sun Synchronous, 17 ton, or to a translunar injection orbit, uh, 5 ton. Uh, you could also check uh, what it could do from uh, another spaceport, for example, Wallops, and see the difference. Now, obviously, not all spaceports have access to all orbit, uh, but you can at least um, uh, check to get a quick uh, sense. Now, let's go back to Launcher Rocket 1. Now, every rocket in the preset, or later we'll show you how you can build one, goes through the same equation that is, that is in JavaScript uh, behind this page. So you can use existing rocket to kind of validate uh, the calculation is accurate enough and then move on to propose future rocket uh, from different launch startup uh, to basically check uh, the, the, the different uh, orbit and, and the claims. So for launcher rocket one uh, from Wallops uh, to lower forbit, 200 kilometer lower forbit, we are targeting a 750 kilogram uh, payload. So for example, you could switch to some synchronous orbit and see we have 452 kilogram payload. Now, if I go down here, there's some of the key numbers that are driving uh, uh, the, the rocket uh, payload. Uh, the first one is the ratio between uh, the fu fuel the, with all of its propellant um, uh, in the rocket of the stage called wet mass uh, to dry mass. For the first stage, the second stage, and if you have the third stage, the third stage. The next key assumption is that the unused propellant. It's very, it's kind of a hidden secret. Um, but you need to assume that some of the propellant will not be consumed by the engine by the time you have to stop the, the stage mission. Um, and usually at the beginning of your development cycle, this might be 3% and so on, and as your vehicle improves and matures, you can reduce it towards uh, 1%. So in our case there, we've assumed 2% um, for the unused propellant on each stage. And then you have three key numbers, which are the engine performance in specific impulse, which is the equivalent of the miles per gallon um, in, the, in the rocket world. And we need three numbers. First, we need, on, in the case of a two-stage rocket, we need the first stage when the engine start at sea level. We need that same engine, and we need to know the performance at the end of its flight when it's in the vacuum of space. And we also need the second stage engine, which operates only in the vacuum of space, um, the ISP. Now with these three numbers we're able to compute uh, the predicted payload. In this case they are the three target numbers for E2 engine for the first stage and our uh, vacuum addition on the second stage. Now let's take this slider here which basically uh, increase these numbers by uh, a given percent or decrease them. So right now we have 750 kilogram of payload. I'm going to increase the engine performance, let's say we, we were able to go beyond our target um, and develop our engine with 110% of, of the target uh, specific impulse. And you can see that the dramatic impact on the payload, it's increased by 67% and now we've gone from 750 kilo to uh, 1.2 ton, uh, just with 10% of an engine performance increase. Now let's go the other way and let's say we miss, um, and this applies to competitors that you know, might have um, 
uh, announced engine performance that are perhaps aggressive, but let's say we miss by 10%. And you can see that our 750 kilogram to lower 4-bit uh, rocket is now less than 50%, 298 kilogram. So all of this to really explain that how important uh, reaching engine performance um, is to reaching your, your, your goal in terms of payload. Um, the other points we've mentioned that are also very important is the unused propellant, um, and which is mass that is wasted and also tank mass, and also the basically the dry to wet mass ratio, how heavy is your tank, your engine, your avionics, your pressurization system, um, and so on. So now let's um, do a little photo experiment and imagine a rocket that is perfect where the engine has no mass, the tank has no mass, and we basically just have the propellant and you know, we're burning them adequately. So I'm going to take the launcher rocket one, um, uh, launch vehicle, and I'm simply going to 0% the dry to wet mass of the first stage and the same for the second stage. And so our payload has now increased to nearly two ton, um, from 750 kilogram to two ton. But that might be surprising to some that the potential for improvement um, is basically not much greater than this. Uh, you can also you know, increase the engine performance to get to, to near perfection. And that tells you, you know, how limited we are with chemical rocket. And even if you have obviously an impossible rocket with a zero mass engine and zero mass tanks, you still can only um, you know, uh, increase the payload by, by, by uh, only a, a few hundred percent, but not an order of magnitude or more. So the last piece uh, that I can show you, so we could go back to, for example, Falcon 9 full trust. Um, something interesting is you can uh, simulate an air launch. Um, and so in this case, you can see that if Falcon 9 uh, was launched from a plane, which obviously is not very realistic, um, because of the increased altitude and the increased speed, which relative to the target uh, orbital velocity is not great, the speed of an airplane, uh, you can see that we will only increase uh, Falcon 9 by about 20% of payload if we went through all of the uh, trouble of making it air launch. And this does not consider then the, uh, the actual structure mass uh, would have to increase so that it can uh, be mounted, uh, you know, on, under a wing, um, and then it can also um, handle all of the forces of this type of mounting and also a flight uh, attached to an airline wing. So likely this number will will uh, not even be 20% uh, higher. Um, you know, in terms of orbit, as I mentioned, you have different orbit, ISS, unsynchronous orbit, uh, geostationary transfer orbit, even direct to geostationary uh, orbit, uh, and then Moon, Mars, and Venus uh, transfer orbit uh, for any of these uh, rocket. Uh, lastly, uh, you can actually create a custom rocket. Um, and in this case, the first thing you should do is pick uh, an engine for the first stage. So for example, we could try the SpaceX uh, Raptor. And automatically it preloads basically Starship there, but I could basically say, hey, what would it look like to use a one uh, SpaceX Raptor on the first stage and maybe, um, uh, maybe a Merlin vacuum, a single one on the second stage. Um, and you can see we automatically calculate the mass of the rocket uh, and everything here, launched from Cape Canaveral to lower orbit. And uh, in this case, we're 4.5 ton. So you can use this functionality also to kind of build your own rocket uh, using some of the known uh, or assumed performance of uh, some of the engine uh, that exists in, in development. So that's it for us. Um, uh, the last point is that everything is available on GitHub. Uh, this was designed uh, by our chief designer, and we look forward to any comment, any contribution. Uh, we also have a Discord uh, channel for questions and discussion, and uh, we hope to be able to improve this tool um, to be a, a really simple to use, very straightforward analysis tool for media in due diligence, uh, and to in general be more informed of the different threshold and be able to ask a uh, better question of any uh, rocket uh, designer that, that proposed a given payload. Thank you for uh, watching and we hope we, you enjoy Launcher Calculator uh, at launchercalculator.com. Thank you.